let's get started. It's wise to make sure you protect your doors on site, so only remove the packaging on the day you intend to install. Check before you start that you have all the components you need. Every set includes one top and bottom track and left and right jam. The components box, however, is bespoke to your order, so follow the checklist provided. Now, make sure you have the correct tools. A list is identified in the installation guide provided. There are no special tools required. It is also vital that you obtain a range of frame packers of different thicknesses. It's always very important to start with a level threshold. If the threshold is not level, lay the bottom track into position and insert the correct frame packers spaced at a maximum of 500 mil apart along the length of the track until level. Once the track is level, remove and secure the frame packers into position using silicon sealant. Now, evenly space the jam packers along the length of the jam and fix into place using small screws positioned beneath each packer. Next, lay out the complete frame, making sure all manufacturer's labels face upwards. Connect the jams to the track using the four pre-installed connectors. Taking care to keep the frame as square as possible, lift it into the aperture and insert frame packers into both top corners between the top track and lintel to retain the frame in position. Again, using frame packers, centralize the bottom track in the aperture. Using a 13mm drill bit, drill the first layer of polyamide level with the center of each jam packer. Starting at the bottom of the jam, drill the jam packer using a suitable HSS drill bit for your preferred fixing. A good idea is to insert a flat knife or trowel between the jam and the masonry to prevent blunting of the drill bit. Then, using a masonry drill bit to drill the correct size for your preferred fixing, drill through the previously drilled hole into the masonry. Packing the jam level with the end of the bottom track, insert your preferred frame fixing. Then level vertically the jam and install the top fixing. Making sure the jam is not bowed, install the remaining fixings. Finally, check for straightness and level again. Repeat this process with the remaining jam. Set a pinch rod or measuring stick between the top and bottom tracks at each end of the frame. Using suitable frame fixings, fix the top track. Use your pinch rod or measuring stick to ensure the top track remains parallel to the bottom track. The top track fixings must be at either end, as well as at each door joint. Now, fix the bottom track, mirroring the fixing positions on the top track. Before inserting the fixing, apply silicon sealant into the drilled hole to create a waterproof seal. Then, recheck level. Install bottom carriage into bottom track through the pre-prepared opening. Then install top carriage wheels through pre-prepared opening with thicker side of the wheel to the top. Install the top carriage and fork into the previously installed guide wheels. The position of each door in the set is clearly identified by a pre-adhered label on the outside sash. Locate the first door into the jam hinges and lower into position. Install the next door onto the hinges of the first door. Install the third door onto the center hinge of the second door. Stabilize the door using a suitable screwdriver inserted into top hinge. Slightly lift the second and third doors and locate the bottom carriage assembly over the bottom hinge and insert retaining pin supplied. Tap the pin into place whilst carefully aligning hinge and fork together. Remove screwdriver from top hinge and locate top carriage assembly in the same way. Once the pins are inserted, install the remaining screws into the pins and tighten. Repeat the previous steps for the remaining doors. Close the lead door onto its latch 
being careful it doesn't catch as it passes the keeps. Insert the lever handle with screws supplied using a hand screwdriver so as not to damage the screws. Then insert the grub screws into the hinges attached to the carriage assemblies. Only one per assembly is necessary. If the doors open outwards, fit the supplied D handle around the hinge above the slave handle. Remove the glazing beads from the door and install suitable 4mm glazing packers. Lift the glass into place. Insert 4mm glazing packer into the diagonally opposite bottom corner to the automatic toe and heel plate fitted in the top of the door. Insert two more 4mm glazing packers in the opposite corner at the top of the door. This will brace the door diagonally. Be sure that the top packer is between the automatic toe and heel plate and the glass. Once all packers are in position, reinstall the glazing beads and repeat steps for all remaining doors. Once all the glass has been installed, insert the wedge gasket between glazing bead and glass, starting each door leaf at the bottom glazing bead. At this stage, it's important to make sure the toe and heel of each door is correct so all doors sit level. If adjustment is necessary, insert a 4mm Allen key into the top of the door and rotate clockwise until the desired level is obtained. If no adjustment is required, turn the toe and heel adjuster clockwise until the plate inside the glazing chamber is tight to the top of the glass. This will help prevent the doors settling over time. Check the gap between the edge of the lead door and its closing style. There should be an even 3mm from bottom to top. Should adjustment be required, open the doors, remove the center fixings of one jam and repack top and bottom of the jam, in or out, to suit. Once adjustments have been made, insert center fixings. Starting with the doors completely open, Check the level of the top track, observing the center pin in the top carriage guide wheel. This should protrude approximately 1mm through the center of the wheel and stay consistent as the doors are closed along the length of the track. If this is not the case, repack the top track to suit. Position the two halves of the keep between the lead door and its adjoining door so that the lever handle does not come into contact with the adjoining door. Use a pencil to mark this position. Using a 3.5mm drill bit, drill a hole in the top of the lead door where marked and fix the magnetic keep in position and install cover plate. Carefully place the two halves of the magnetic keep together and open the lead door back against its adjoining door to locate the second half. Mark and fix into position as before. Install all the hinge plugs provided into the top and bottom of all the remaining hinges. Insert the screw caps provided into the fork pins on the top and bottom carriage assemblies Insert the fixing plugs provided into the 13mm holes drilled in the jams. Finally, we recommend expanding foam is used in all four sides of the outer frame. Your origin doors are now correctly installed. Before using, please refer to the operation and maintenance instructions included in the box.